Hair fall and hair thinning are one of the most common problems faced by both men and women today. As much as 25% of the men below the age of 21 years suffer from hair loss and 45% of the women suffer from hair thinning at some point of their life. Let us talk about its major reasons and the do's and don'ts to fix it. Hello friends, welcome to FitTuber. I want to start this video talking about the 6 mistakes that you might be doing on a daily basis which is damaging your hair. Heat in any form is bad for your hair. So taking hot water bath, excessive use of hair dryer or hair straightening machine should be avoided. Are you using a shampoo which contains sulphate? Check the ingredients of your shampoo and see if it contains sodium laurel sulphate. Sodium laurel sulphate is a detergent which is known for hair loss. Try not to use too many hair products. If you use them, make sure to wash them before going to sleep at night. Rubbing wet hair vigorously leads to hair breakage. So avoid brushing wet hair. Do not tie your hair tightly all the time as it puts a lot of pressure on the roots and causes the hair to fall. Too much of emotional stress can also lead to hair loss. Hairs have their fixed cycles. It is like lithium ion battery. The more stressed out you will be, the faster it will discharge. Now let us talk about the three major causes of hair fall and the ways to fix it. Number one is poor blood circulation. The nutrients in our body flow through blood. If the blood circulation in your scalp area is low, even if you take a nutritional diet, your hair will fall. This is because the nutrients are not able to reach the scalp area. So how do we improve the blood circulation? One way is to massage your scalp for 3 to 4 times a week. Now what oil you use for massage should be taken care of. You should not use oils with artificial fragrances. This is because the artificial fragrance that it contains is because of the alcohol. And alcohol is not good for your hair. So it is better to use mustard oil, coconut oil or almond oil. Massage has to be done gently. If it is vigorously done, it can lead to hair breakage. You can massage your hair before going to sleep and you can then wash it in the morning. Another way of improving blood circulation is through exercise. Any exercise done for 15 to 20 minutes can improve blood circulation drastically. Especially women who are also suffering from thyroid or other kind of hormonal imbalances, exercise is highly recommended. Another major cause of hair loss is due to the rise in the levels of dihydrotestosterone. Almost 90% of the hair loss in men is due to the hormone called dihydrotestosterone which is commonly known as DHT. Dihydrotestosterone is essentially formed from testosterone through a biochemical reaction. DHT causes the shortening of the lifespan of hair follicles then chokes the hair follicles and eventually shuts them down. So in order to reduce the DHT levels in the body, one should include DHT blocking foods. Some of the DHT blocking foods are fenugreek seeds, almonds, banana, tomato, carrots, mushrooms, etc. I have listed some more DHT blocking foods in the description below. This is one reason why you see bodybuilders who take testosterone injections getting bald. Third is poor nutrition. Poor nutrition is the major reason as to why the hair of men and women start to thin out at a very early age. If the body is devoid of nutrients for a very long time, one thing it can afford is to lose hair. Body thinks that it can survive without a single hair on the head. So it stops making hair and takes care of the other vital organs. So any hormonal imbalance or lack of nutrients, hair has to pay the price. These days fast food, fat diets, cola, artificial sweeteners, artificial juices, processed foods are very much a part of every teenager's diet. This needs to be fixed. Every hair strand is made up of protein. So one should definitely have their daily dose of protein. Foods like kidney beans, chickpeas, black chana, lentils, paneer, chicken, fish are all rich in protein and should be a part of your daily diet. Also healthy fats are very important for hair health. Almonds, cashews, peanuts, walnuts, flax seeds are all good sources of healthy fats. There are generally two types of vitamins, water soluble and fat soluble. Vitamin A, D, E and K are all fat soluble. If you remove fat from your diet, your body will anyway will get deficient of these vitamins. So make sure healthy fats are a part of your diet. Also B vitamins are very important for hair health. Next iron and vitamin C are also very important to prevent hair loss. Iron and vitamin C come hand to hand. This is because vitamin C is very important to absorb iron in the body. If you take iron but you don't consume vitamin C, it will not be absorbed. 
All the green leafy vegetables like spinach, cauliflower are great sources of iron. And one of the best sources of vitamin C available to us is amla or Indian gooseberry. Other sources of vitamin C are orange, lemon, capsicum, etc. So if you consume a well-balanced diet, you will see that you will stop losing your hair. So friends, I hope you found this video helpful. Well, if you did, please do give it a thumbs up. And also, please do remember to subscribe to my channel. My name is Vivek. I thank you so much for watching.